What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the next part of our Shopify tutorial and in this video we are going to be going over our inventory within our products tab. So of course before we get started there's the same three things I need y'all to do in this video that you did in all the other videos alright. So that is of course make sure you subscribe to my channel just hit that button down there somewhere after you do that be sure to join our facebook group sublimation cove where we cover the topic of sublimation and last but not least if you need sublimation ink or pigment ink for your business just hit the link down below and we'll get everything sent out to you and of course that is going to be provided by cosmos ink as we are the owners of cosmos ink so from here let's go ahead and dive into the video so the very first thing you want to do is when you're on your home page and you're signed into Shopify, you're going to come over here to where it says products. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to click right underneath the products where it says inventory. Now, when you look at the inventory, as you can notice, all three of these names are the same. And when I first got started with Shopify, they didn't have this option, but I guess they got a lot of uh, requests and, you know, feedback for this option so they decided to add this tab in the product section and even though all of these are the same name these are the different variants of that product listing that we made in our last video so now you can be able to change the uh quantity uh you know inventory or whatever for each individual variant and of course if you are to add a SKU number each variant will have their own SKU number as we said also in the last video so these are these are going to be your products. Uh, of course, right underneath your product name is going to be the name of that uh, of that specific variant for that product. Right here, of course, we got our SKUs and your SKU numbers if you have any. After that, you have what's going to happen when you sell out. So for us, since our, our since in our last video we did, hey, I want to stop selling when it sells out. Of course, it's going to list what happens right here in this column, and then when you go over to incoming. Incoming is dealing with if you have something that is in transit to your warehouse. So let's say you have something in transit from, you know, China or from a supplier here in the U.S. Uh, you can be able to add what is on the way to your incoming inventory, but not just yet available, which is, of course, going to be our next tab. So for available, of course, we have zero available for this one, zero for this one and 20 down here for this one, which is, of course, what we did in the last video. When you come over here, this is going to be pretty much the bread and butter of this entire um, uh, tab, uh, this entire uh, this entire <laughs> inventory tab. So if you come over here, you can be able to edit the quantity available. So for this, you have two different options. You have add and then you have set. Add is going to add inventory to your current available number, which is going to be right here. So right now we have zero. And if we have add uh, checked, we can come over here and change that zero to, let's say, six. And it will take it from zero to six because, you know, it's adding the six to the zero. Also, if we were to put two, it'll add two to that six and we hit save. Now it turns it to eight. And then on top of that, uh, once we come over here to set, if we click set, we're changing that entire number all together. So if I highlight this and I say, you know what, I want to have 16, it'll just change this eight into 16. And then if I want to be like, you know what, I did a miscount. Um, I don't have 16. I only have three in stock. You can click set and we can change this to three and it'll change it to three in stock. But let's say if you uh, have some crazy number like, uh, I don't know, let's say 120, right? Let's say you said you have 120, but in actuality, you didn't have 120. You had 115. You can be able to come over here, do minus five, and it will drop it down to 115 so this add button is kind of like a add and subtract you just have to make sure that you put in the right number over here in this column all right same thing goes with this one i can be like you know what i have uh 52 of these i want to add that then i get some more inventory in i go to add 
uh, just order, you know, 14 of those to the inventory. So I hit uh, save and it'll add those 15 to the inventory. And then same thing down here at the bottom. When we go to add, let's say I get an extra uh, 67 of those that come in. So now we got 87. And this should reflect it on your actual product. So if I come over here to my product listing, go to all products, go to this product listing, and we can open up inventory in, an, in another tab. So if I scroll down, these numbers right here, they should match what we have right here. So for our eight by 10, it says 115. Here you go, eight by 10, 115. 87 and then 66 I have 87 and 66 so everything syncs up pretty much instantly and this will be your one-stop uh place where you go to to adjust your inventory for every single product that you are going to be offering your potential customers all right so that pretty much wraps up everything in this tutorial i will see you all in the very next one and of course please be sure to sublimate i mean not sublimate <laughs> be sure to subscribe to my channel after you do that be sure to join our facebook group sublimation code where we cover sublimation and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of pigment ink or sublimation ink for your business hit that link down below and we'll get it sent out to you immediately all right so that is it i will see you all in the very next video angelo out